You told me something offline. So if it's if it's not too personal, perhaps you can share that. My entire household, I'm currently making the most. And wow. so even just through this internship, I've been able to really change my life around and provide for my brothers and my family. <laughs> Everyone, David Bombal coming to you from Cisco Live with a very special group of people. Kombi, you representing this group. Can you tell us how you got here? Because that's a really cool story. Yeah, so we're all a part of Delete, the Delete the Divide initiative from the Los Angeles County. And so their main goal is to help people from underrepresented and under unincorporated communities in Los Angeles. So all of you have trust funds, is that right? Uh, not no, at all. No, we wish <laughs> Of course. And it really helps us, you know, get into that tech field because yep. in the areas that we all live in, there's a very low percentage of households that actually have access to the internet and oh, even wow. that have access to a computer. Being able to learn more about it and really get involved in that tech world, especially when it comes to a career, is really important. I have to ask you this then. So whether if you can raise your hands, how many of you didn't have a computer when you were young? Okay, so a lot of you, right? So this is amazing because now you're in tech. Yeah. So can you tell us more about the journey, how, how it works? Because you were studying medical, I believe. Yeah. And then now you just passed your CCNA. Congratulations, Thank by the way. You. So tell us a bit more about the journey. Yeah, so it's different for everyone. But in general, as long as you're 16 or older, that's when you can apply. And so we have anyone ranging from still being in high school to being 50 or 60 and wanting to get into tech. Maybe they've, they've had a career that's been completely different their whole life. Yep. But they've realized tech is the thing that they need to know. It's the future. And so it's important for everyone to get involved somehow. And so everyone has different backgrounds. Yep. There are some people, you know, who are coming in directly from high school, others okay. who have degrees in computer science, right? So even though they didn't have tech when they were growing up, they realized that's their passion yep. and getting that experience is difficult. So in the county, especially, is a great place to yep. kind of get started. And then for others, being able to uh, do a complete career switch, like for me, right? I yep. went to college for pre-med and yep. then I ended up thinking tech was the future and wanted yep. to join. And it's been amazing being able to work in tech since then. So how did you come to Cisco Live? Because that's quite a cool story as well. Yeah, so it did take some convincing, but the, the county of Los Angeles has a lot of Cisco products throughout yep. everywhere, right? Yep. And we have libraries, fire stations, sheriff's departments, hospitals, all that is for us. So we have a lot of Cisco products that we buy every year. And with that comes some learning credits. And so we have a lot of abundance of that. And so they were willing to send all of us here with those learning credits today. How many of you, this is your first time at Cisco Live? So like everyone, right? And how's it been thus far? Amazing. Uh, we've been able to network so much. And even being able to sit for our CCNA is a huge thing. You know, it's a, not that cheap of a test. So yep. getting it complimentary with the ticket to yep. come to Cisco Live was amazing. And then being able to have a bunch of different events where we can listen to keynote speakers and then also go to sessions and learn a little bit more about the Cisco products is awesome. And then more than that, being able to network with people has been amazing. Especially you. Well, I appreciate it. <laughs> you passed your CCNA on Sunday. Yes. A whole bunch of you did CCNA, is that right? Yes. Who passed? How many new CCNAs we've got? That's brilliant. So well done. And the rest of you, you're going to go for it, right? Yes. Or did you did you fail, right? Look, I mean, I can tell you all of us have failed. And it doesn't matter if you fail. You just try again, right? All of us have failed exams in the past. So just go and do it again. I mean, I vouch for the CCNA. It changed my life. It opens up so many doors. And what I love about tech, it doesn't matter your background. It doesn't matter if you have money or you don't have money tech can really help you in life. Yeah. So I want to wish all of you a really successful career. So, you know, passing your CCNA is great, but I'm assuming that's only the beginning of the journey. You're hoping to get a job or have you got a job yet? Not yet. We all are just interns at the moment and we all are looking for that full-time employment. So even though we have our CCNA, uh, that's definitely the next goal. But unfortunately for us, the funding for Delete the Divide is ending this December. Oh, no. Uh, but we are all, you know, on that job search. And uh, if anyone, you know, unfortunately for anyone that might be watching is that we're all open for full-time employment. And so if you go to DeleteTheDivide.org and go to the Meet Our Interns page, you'll be able to see all of us, all of our accomplishments, reach out to us directly through LinkedIn or through the form that's on the website. So I want to ask anyone who's watching, any companies who are watching, please reach out and hire the next generation of amazing CCNAs and network engineers. These people are the future. So please reach out and hire them and give them their start in life. Just like all of us have had, I had someone who believed in me when I was young and made a big difference in my life. So please reach out, hire them and give them the opportunities that all of us have had. I have to ask you about that tattoo. So you got to show the oh, yeah. audience. I've got one of these going on, so... You got that here at Cisco Live, right? Yeah, there was a Aloha party from Booker and Suter, and they had temporary tattoos that definitely do not come off when you wash them the first time. So <laughs> that's that's my new addition. But I mean, the point is, Cisco Live isn't just about work, right? No. It's about networking, meeting people, but also having fun. Of course, and I think that that is what makes it 
the easiest to network is it's not necessarily yep. at Cisco Live yep. or at the events that are happening here or these sessions. It's afterwards when everyone's kind of more relaxed yep. and everyone's just another person. Exactly. Right? It doesn't feel like you're talking to anyone that's way above you. And then no. you find that out later and you're like, whoa, glad that I you know, spoke to them. So one of the biggest pieces of advice I would give anyone who's watching is at Cisco Live and all of these ev events, it's, it's good to go to the keynote, it's good to go to the sessions, but it's more important to meet people. 100%. Because we've even connected on LinkedIn. Some of yeah. you have connected with me. Of course. I mean, that's how you network, right? In person, go, don't never be shy to go and speak to someone. Because like you said, we're all just people. And you know, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Exactly. So. so CCNA is obviously a personal thing or studying for an exam is a personal thing, but it's a journey. And I'm assuming that you perhaps met each other through this journey. Is that correct? When we started studying for the CCA, yep. we all kind of got together once a week. We all made sure we were on the same path. We were doing the same study materials. Well done. And so being able to do all of that together has really, I think, made us all grow closer, even though we're all from different aspects of the internship. So we don't normally always work together. And I mean, I'm assuming that, you know, there's something in life, you know, when you do an exam, you're not supposed to cheat, but in life, it's all about working together. Yeah. And I mean helping each other in studying. You've got to do the exam by yourself, but in the real world, no one tries to do something alone. It's all a group effort, right? Yeah, study buddies are really important and especially maybe you understand a topic really well yep. and someone else doesn't and being able to test yourself by explaining that yep. to someone else is really, really helpful. So you told me something offline. So if it's, if it's not too personal, perhaps you can share that. Yeah, of course. So with the internship, I mean, we don't make much. We don't make as much as most tech professionals do, you know, around that $20 an hour range. But even with that, no one from my family went to college. No oh, one wow. from my family is in tech. And so with my entire household, I'm currently making the most. And wow. so even just through this internship, I've been able to really change my life around and provide for my brothers and my family a lot of things that we didn't have when we were a kid and that wasn't really easily accessible for us. So I want to thank all of you for coming to see me. And hopefully you've connected with a lot of amazing people here. You are the future. We need more people in tech. We need more women in tech. So, so glad that you joined us on this journey and I want to wish you all the very best for the future. And I hope in five years time or in 10 years time, when you run a big company or when you are hiring people that you remember how it started and you help the future generation after you make their lives better and make the world a better place. Of course, we wouldn't be here without all of the people who helped us and without you letting us share our story and be here today. So thank you so much for that. All the very best. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.